Qantas 32 lifts off right on schedule. It's 10.01 a.m. The pilots are just four minutes into the flight. We're losing an engine. We've lost number two. Holding 7,400 feet. The Kripney wastes no time taking over control from the autopilot. 35 years of flying tells him what to do next. Matt, ECAM actions. On it. The captain assigns Hicks to decipher the ECAM data. He needs to evaluate every message and figure out how best to react to each one. Degraded pneumatics, hydraulics, electrics, power to the left wing shut down, flaps, slats, and ailerons are damaged but operable. Captain de Krepney knows he's running out of time. The failures are mounting. He needs to get the damaged plane on the ground. That means turning around and heading back to Singapore. Singapore, Qantas 3-2. We require a left turn back towards Singapore. Qantas 32, Singapore. Turn left, heading 020. A heavy load of flammable fuel means any landing attempt will be extremely dangerous. The pilots decide to circle near the airport until they can work out a plan. Dave, I need you to run the numbers on this landing. Check Captain Dave Evans has called into action. Three engines, full load, all that. He uses the A380 landing software to calculate how much runway they'll need to bring the huge plane to a stop. Looks like we can do it with 139 meters to spare. Singapore approach, Qantas 32, we're gonna need a long approach. And uh, better have fire services standing by, we're leaking fuel. Roger, Qantas 32, you're cleared straight in on final, 20 miles. The five seasoned pilots now use everything they've ever learned about flying. Flaps three. To try to land their plane safely. Here we go. The Kripney's ability to keep his plane lined up with a runway is severely limited. Singapore, what's the surface wind? 170 degrees at five knots. If the crew misses the runway, there's no way the crippled plane can go around for another try. Everybody ready? The plane is gobbling up 250 feet of runway every second. If they don't slow down quickly, they risk overshooting the runway and hitting terrain that could rupture the plane's heavily laden fuel tanks. Brakes, full brakes, Rich. I am, my feet are flat to the floor. Keep it in, Rich, hammer them. Finally, after a grueling two hour ordeal, Qantas 32 comes to a stop on the same runway it took off from, with less than 500 feet to spare. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Beautiful. Oh. Welcome to Singapore, guys.